Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It's been a minute since I've made a video. I've been out of town and busy with some family stuff this summer. So I thought I'd catch you up on a couple of things and some recent activities. First thing I want to show you is this really cool tower. This is a Glen Martin Engineering 48-foot mobile crank-up tower. It's built onto a trailer. It came that way from the factory. And it's got the winch here on the tower to crank up the sections and the winch here to crank it up into the vertical. I would love to tell you that this is mine, but it was donated to the local radio club and we used it at field day this year. The reason it's at my house is because I'm going to do a little bit more work on it. I did some cleaning up. I had to replace the lights on the trailer. I got that stuff all done in time for there's still a little bit more cleanup work and some adjustments that need to be done to it. So I get to have it at my place for a little bit longer. The other thing that happened is my 80 meter off center fed beam, beam, my 80 meter off center fed dipole, which is off in that direction. I'll show you that in another segment here in a sec. It came down a few days ago. We had some pretty bad thunderstorms here early in the morning. So I guess I'll be doing another repair the antenna segment, although it stayed up for three years. And here in the Midwest with the thunderstorms and the winds we have, I'm pretty pleased with that actually. This time I'll show you how I built it and show you how the sections are attached to the ballon and what I did to waterproof it and what I used for materials. Hopefully it'll be interesting. Let's take a look at the segments. Well, we had quite the thunderstorm early this morning. And I came out to find this. And Ellie's going to inspect it for me, too. But this is my 80 meter off center fed dipole, or rather, it was. Part of it's still up here on the other side. I'm not sure if you can see it reflecting in the sun. A little hard to see it in the camera but and here's the coax and the ballon is up in the tree so I guess we'll be doing another takedown of this and reassembly and maybe another repair the off-center fed dipole video I did more participating than videoing this year so I don't have a lot of material. One of our club members graciously allowed me to use some of his drone footage. We put up several wire antennas and a vertical. We tried out the new tower with a 6 meter beam. This gave us a free station since VHF and above doesn't count as an additional transmitter towards your class number. Setting up the tower went pretty smoothly. It was really nice to have a beam at almost 50 feet on 6 meters. Last year's antenna was much lower and the performance difference was definitely noticeable. Well, the 6 meter station is just about to be turned off for the night. We got some lightning and storms off in the distance. Got some FT8 activity. All in all, six meters was pretty good today. Having a 50-foot tower and a beam antenna definitely made a difference compared to last year. Although the club is not a hardcore contesting club, we do try to get as many bonus points as possible. Howard, N0AZ, operated a solar and battery-powered QRP station and made at least 10 contacts to get the bonus points for that. 
So this must be our nighttime solar powered station. Yeah, just about to give it up. Except the batteries did get charged during the day by solar power. So it's all legit. We operate at the Enzer Park and Museum every year. That gets us the public space bonus. We also manage to get the visit by a public official bonus with one of our visitors and the educational bonus with a Windlink training session. Unfortunately, I don't have video or snapshots of those. This video should count as the media bonus, and there's probably a few other bonuses that I've missed. In addition to bringing the generator and all of the antenna supplies, our club trailer served as the shack for the primary digital station. In every club I've ever been in, one important part of field day is food. It's an excuse to eat. As if we needed one. Oh, we ended up with a drawing good selection. As if we needed one. That's right. Yes, eat, drink, and merry. Be merry. Eric is one of our newest members. I think he definitely got bit by the contest bug. Jot it down there so you can yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know which one's the... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, be ready to jot down the one there. <coughs> All right. All right, Eric, you got to tell everybody when you were licensed. Yeah, Believe it or not, I was licensed less than two months ago. There we go. So, he's now become a field day expert. Relatively so. <laughs> You're, you're doing good. You're, you're doing good. I, I'm enjoying myself very much doing this. Very good. Oh yeah, there's one other bonus I forgot. Copying the ARRL Field Day Bulletin. And here's some bonus footage of that. Hey everybody, here's a little bonus footage. I'm going to be copying the Field Day Bulletin for the club because you get extra points if you copy that. And I'm doing it mobile in my truck, and I'm actually going to use the RIDI decode feature on the 7100 and the logging to log the bulletin. So let's take a look. A little on the weak side. And of course somebody's tuning up over it.